Good morning, Challengers. Day 15, I believe, right? And uh, of course, we're on the floor again today. We worked uh, some legs yesterday with your lunges. So today we're gonna incorporate a plank with um, three different levels and it's called thread the needle. So this is gonna incorporate your core and your balance. So you're gonna get some chest work, upper body work, shoulders, back. Um, so it's a really great stability exercise and I hope you guys like it. Um, as I said, we were gonna turn up the heat here in the, in the next two weeks. So pick your level and then try and increase your strength as you do the move. I would start um, by, of course, testing the move first to figure out exactly how much upper body strength you have in order to know what level to start at. But don't be afraid to try all three levels because you never know what you're capable of doing until you at least give it a shot, okay? So make sure you're on a soft surface. Um, I have a yoga mat, so that's what I'll be using. That's the only equipment you need, and of course yourself. So let's get started. All right, leaning lengthways on your mat. I'm gonna show you level one first, okay? So if you have very limited upper body strength, then this is where you want to start, okay? You're gonna notice that also people with um, wrist issues, this is a good way to modify this move as well, okay? So level one, I want you to make sure that your elbow is in direct alignment with your shoulder. So as you can see, I need to move up a little bit because I can see myself. Don't want bad form, okay? Hand is flat on, on the mat, okay? And what you're gonna do, this bottom leg is gonna stay bent, okay? You just wanna drag that knee back a little bit. So you kinda have a straight line from your knee all the way up through your hip. The most important part of this move is not letting this happen, okay? You don't want your head to sink into your chest. You wanna make sure that you're up nice and tall and that this ear is fully separated from this shoulder. You'll notice when you dip down, very close, right? So you have to stand it up. That's engaging your shoulders, okay? And your biceps and your forearms, all right? So making sure you have all this in alignment, nice straight line, right? Right down to your hip. And what I want you to do is you're gonna lift this hip up off the floor and there's that straight line I'm talking about, okay? This foot is bent, okay? You're just on the outside of that knee, okay? You arrange that to where it feels comfortable for you. This arm is straight up. So right here, you have stacked shoulders. Shoulder over shoulder. Arm is straight up. Palm is open, facing front of the room, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna thread the needle, okay? Just like putting thread through a needle, you're gonna drop this arm all the way through, looking back over that shoulder, and then straight up again, looking up towards those fingertips. Reach it through again, and all the way up. Nice and slow, none of this, okay? It's not about speed here, it's about form, okay? So lower down, and right back up. Good, and lower down. Eight repetitions, okay, for each side, that is considered one set, okay? So now what you're gonna do, flip over that other side, And this is gonna feel like a little break, right? Because all the weight was on this arm, so now we're transferring it over. Again, proper alignment, hand is flat. Elbow in alignment with the shoulder, okay? You wanna make sure that head is up nice and tall so that you have a great bit of distance between your ear and your shoulder. Go ahead and bend that bottom leg. This is your level one again. This foot here, I want this part inside of your foot flattened out on the floor, okay? That's gonna help you hold up your body weight. You're going to go ahead and lift that hip up off the floor, check your alignment, arm goes straight up, okay? And then lower through, and up. You want to look over that shoulder, and look up towards those fingertips. Good. And reach, and core is engaged each time, working those obliques, and then right back up. Good. That's one set. Take about a 30 second break between and then start back on that opposite side. Don't do two, don't do your left two times in a row. You wanna alternate right, left, right, left, right, left. Give those shoulders a little break, okay? My level two people, okay? Same arm, okay? 
except this time both legs are going to extend out straight. Okay? What I like to tell my clients, rather than stacking your feet on top of each other, and you can do that, I like to get a little bit more stability by taking my top foot slightly out in front of my back foot. They're both still on that outer edge of the foot, okay? You're not on your toes or your heels. You're flattening those feet out against the floor, okay? Check your alignment, shoulder and elbow. And lift that hip up. Good, right here. And you'll notice down on the bottom, you can kind of see the outside of my shin right along that calf is laying flat on the floor, okay? And then reach and up. Good. This takes away a little bit of the balance, so it engages your core just a little bit more and a little bit deeper on those moves, okay? And then down. Lower yourself down. Good. Switch sides again. Level three, which is an advanced movement, is going to incorporate that wrist because we are going to come fully extended up on that arm, okay? Also called a side plank. All right. I like to make sure that my fingertips are pointed in direct alignment with my body, so they'll go out in this direction. They won't be turned this way because then it puts a really big kink, 90 degree bend in my wrist and I don't want that, okay? So you wanna try and keep that wrist as straight as possible, okay? I'm gonna try and line myself up here, okay? Again, shoulder right over the wrist, okay? Now here you can still have a leg down, okay, and be up just like this. Shoulders are stacked, okay, and reach and lift, reach and lift, good. When you feel like you've got enough strength there, take it one level higher, okay. Legs are stacked, or staggered rather, okay, outside of those feet down on the floor. Shoulders are stacked, reach and lift, reach, and lift, good. Anytime you're in this position, rather than stomp, just modify that move, reach, move. Say you're in this position and you start to get tired and can't complete eight, drop down to that forearm, and you're right here. Continue the move, okay, good. All right, so eight on the right, eight on the left, 30 second break, that's set one. Eight on the right, eight on the left, 30 second break, set two. Eight on the right, eight on the left, 30 second break, set three. So three sets, and you should start to feel that in your shoulders, all right? Good stretch for those shoulders when you finish up, okay? I'm gonna pull that arm directly across the chest. You never wanna grab an elbow or at the wrist, because that's a joint and you don't want to grab there. So grab somewhere in between, okay? And I'm gonna face you, because this is a big mistake I see in the gym is this. You don't want to pull that arm all the way across. Keep your shoulders facing straight forward, okay? You're gonna take that arm straight out to the side. It's gonna come over naturally across your chest line, keeping those shoulders straight forward. Then you grab right there, and it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. And I want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades in the back and then pulling that arm. Now, I know you just saw the definition pop right here. That's because I'm stretching out the shoulder, okay? So pull back. Again, not on the wrist. I just caught myself doing that, okay? Good. All you're doing is holding on to that arm so that you can pull those shoulders back and away, okay? Squeezing those shoulder blades in the back. It's going to lengthen out all of this where you were in that cramped position, okay? Good. Then you can take that same arm out, up and over. You don't want to move the head to accommodate the arm. You want the arm to go behind the head. Then you reach that arm around and you want a straight line from your elbow all the way down through your shoulder, down to your lats, okay? Good, nice stretch. I'm going to hold each of these three deep breaths in and three out. And release. Good. Arm straight out. Come across the chest, keeping those shoulders forward. Grabbing right there. Pull it back. Good. Shoulders back and down away from the ears, squeezing those shoulder blades in the back. 
Good. And then take that same arm out, up right behind the head, grabbing that elbow and pulling it right into alignment with that shoulder and that lat. Good, nice big deep breaths in and out. And release. You can also take those arms, pull them straight back, opening up that chest, keeping that head up nice and tall. Don't look up towards the ceiling and don't be looking down. Keep that neck in neutral alignment. Elbows are trying to squeeze together in the back. And then bring those arms forward. Clasp those fingers together. Turn them away. And you scoop the abs and drop the head down in between the arms. Ever so slightly, you want that slight roll right through your shoulder blades, okay? See, I'm kind of, I'm up nice and tall. And then when I do this, I'm curved and I have a nice C. Okay, opening up through those shoulder blades in the back. And release. Good job. So you've got your thread the needle move, and then you've got a couple of stretches to lend to um, alleviate some of that stress on those shoulders, arms. You'll feel it in the back and in the chest and in your obliques, okay? All right, so let's get started. Let me know how you do, bye.